Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest account overview. It's a 2 billion might account. This is the account I took to Emperor. But before we get into the video, I want to give a special shout out to Chapman and his girlfriend. They just got engaged. So it's now his fiance. I guess they're both fiancés of each other. If you guys don't know who Chapman is, it is Hellchap from H. D. You probably see him in many of my videos. Just send him a message like, hey, congratulations on the uh, what's called engagement. If he likes any of the uh, what's called messages, I might do a gem giveaway for those people. But you guys don't have to do that. But again, shout out to him for that. Congratulations. Anyway, so let's get into the uh, account overview today. So this is the 2 billion might account I took to Emperor. You probably saw me on this account if you saw that Emperor stream. It's a pretty cool account. Has some pretty good blast sets. Um, really cool stuff in it again it's a 2 billion might account um, pretty much max research or very close to it but we'll take a look at what's in the account today so actually the first thing I wanted to show you guys is what was in his bags because there is some special stuff in his bags today um, actually I want to see if I can make this space a little smaller just so I can there we go. Okay, now you can actually see that. Okay, let's go down here. We'll take a look at it. Um, he's obviously VIP 15, but I think he's been VIP 15 for quite a while, or at least he's been in a big guild for quite a while, because look how many VIP points extra he has. He's got 11,100 ones. He's got four, what's it called? 1,400, 500. I think Code 21, line, 1,000, 1,000. He's got 27, 3,000, 288, 5,000. So he, if there's another VIP thing that comes out soon, he will be set for that. He's also got a ton of other things. He's got 4,000 withdraw squads. He's almost got 9,000 random relocators. Not quite so many relocators, but 9,000 randoms. He's got 277 name changers. Uh, look at all these extra like war tombs, crystal pickaxes, steel cuffs, soul crystals. Again, he's obviously already maxed his uh, building so he doesn't need any but unfortunately you can't give those away because he's got 23,000 of them um, I guess you can do them in the uh, what's that guild thing where you can donate I forget what it's called but he's also got 20,000 quest scrolls so if you ever need some more jewels he's got a bunch of quest scrolls to open up same with guild scrolls um, he's got 6,000 he can open up just for some guild coins uh, maybe in the next two times he can run something and open those up um, and there's the bookmarks and cabinets like those things are never useful anymore because uh i mean you don't really need them anymore you have two thousand of them uh he also got a ton of energies so i've been hunting for those uh what's called halos recently he's trying to get his cups up he's got almost 10 million energy and 1000 so 10,000 of those only only 1400 2000s but he got two thousand five thousands and about uh, 273 10ks in there as well i know this is maybe not the most interesting stuff it's just kind of interesting to see on these accounts because they've been maxed for so long they haven't used any of this stuff so they got a ton saved up he's got over 100 migration scrolls if he needs to go some kingdoms again he's 2 billion might might need to use some of those and he's got 186 techno labs so let's go take a look at the other stuff we'll take a look at his um troop comp next um again what he has he's got 52 million troops he had a couple more until i went to emperor and actually killed half of them so uh, i killed a bunch of his tier 4 he had about 4 million of each tier 4 before i went to emperor um and uh he's down to about uh, 2 million of those he's got a lot of range still he does have some uh, tier 5 in there as well again it's tier Five account it's almost 2 billion might um then he has a lot of tier 2 he's got 17 million infantry again this is for taking rallies so if anyone decided to set a rally party on him he had some tier 2 in the front line i um he might build the troops up again it's just Currently, he's not in a kingdom that really matters. 52 million is enough to take some rallies. He has quite, quite, good, quite good gear. People aren't going to be wasting rallies on a 2 billion might account anyways, especially since we sit in gear all the time. So anyways, we'll take a look at some of the other stuff. Uh, what was the other stuff? Oh yeah, maybe we'll take a look at the gear. Actually, let's take a look at heroes first before I forget, because I always, always forget heroes. So these are his heroes. He's got the Magmoid. If you guys don't know what this does, it gives you those, those base stats. So when we go take a look at his actual stats, uh, you will see... He, uh, he has quite high base stats, over 200%, and this is part of it. It gives infantry defense, infantry attack, so he's got extra in that. Um, then you have stuff like uh, Chaos Dragon. He's got that max to gold. Um, he's got Lore Weaver, Prince of Thieves in here, uh, Witch Doll, Steambot, Watcher, Rose Knight, uh, Petite Devil, Dream Witch. What's Dream Witch do? Oh, yeah, it's Army. 
army attack, uh, songstress, all max. So quite a good wall, a bunch of army attack heroes can switch them around. Uh, what's ethereal knight give? That is range. That's a range hero with army HP and that as well. Um, then yeah, then all the free to play heroes in here. He's got the barbarian. Um, yeah, he's just, he doesn't have berserker and storm fox up though. So berserker, let's see how close he is to berserker. I mean, he technically doesn't need it anymore because I mean, that's only really for uh, defending, and maybe forts, actually, it might be okay, but um, ha does not have the Chronicler up yet. It is only green, um, and then Boommeister's uh, not up as well, so that's the, that's what you get from doing the Dragon Arena. That also gives you some passive stats, actually really good passive stats, because it's all the army stuff, so I uh, might need to work on that. There is a Dragon Arena coming up, so maybe I'll, maybe I can stream it on this account or something. Um, yeah, I am doing the giveaway during Dragon Arena, so hopefully that doesn't mess up some of my... Uh, my guilds might have to do uh <laughs> might have to do dragon arena while I'm doing the giveaway. So I'm um, just th I was thinking about that because uh 10 a.m. Pacific time uh no yeah 10 a.m. Pacific time July 9th that's Friday that's when dragon arena is going on. Um, I will be doing the giveaway stream for the account so there will be some codes in here. So if you maybe already seen one already um there will be a couple more probably so stay tuned don't miss them i will have four or five of them in this video plus uh next and tomorrow i also have the last video that will be the last one with the code so uh, that will have the last codes in there so keep an eye out for them they're about two seconds long so you kind of got to watch the whole video again it's mostly for my subscribers who watch my whole videos so um for them it, it's really easy to find the codes i'm sure they'll have an easy time doing it if you're just here for the giveaway and you're not watching the whole video it's probably a lot harder because you're not watching the whole video so um, anyways, uh, we'll go into uh, gear next. Why not? I uh, will show you the gear. This is the speed up gear. Um, he's got a bunch of different quick swaps here. He's got the crafting gear. This is for the tier five. If you guys are wondering, uh, it just basically increases. Uh, it's called crafting of the tier five thing. If you don't know what tier five crafting, it's in here. You build the code 22 predator XVX. These uh, luminous gears, and then you can upgrade your tier four to tier five with them. It's pretty easy. Um, Maybe, no, I don't have enough. So not going to use that. He was obviously building some tier five, probably because I killed some of it during the uh, the emperor. But anyways, let's go, let's go back to the gear here. Um, that's the crafting gear. Uh, pack attack is the speed up gear. I believe this has like a hundred and 30 pack attack if you guys don't know what pack attack is it's used for wonder wars it actually gives attack bonuses to your rally leads when you join uh what's called wonder battles so that's emperor baron uh what's called the the wonders like the forts and stuff like that it gives extra attack to your rally leads if you have pack attack so you have your gear on you join the rally it gives the pack attack all that stuff so um, that's what this is for it also speeds up your stuff but it's obviously really useful in the speed up gear because you're trying to join rallies quickly and all that. So that's why it's in the speed up gear. Um, stats are not important on speed up gear. Uh, we'll look at the monster gear, which is actually really good. Look at this monster hunting gear. Um, so someone just won the tycoon. It was in the front of my screen there. But looking at the monster hunter gear, he does have full mythic monster hunting gear with full gold jewels. Plus he has attack jewels in the monster hunting gear. So if you want to sit off the line in your monster hunting gear, you don't have zero stats. You still get the... Uh, Gold jewels, cav attack, infantry attack. So I wonder, I wonder what his uh, mix stats are. I'm not in mix talents, so it's, it's probably not the best showing here. Uh, maybe I'll go to mix talents first to show you that. I'm, I'm going to use some gems here and switch these. So let's go to mix. Um, actually, actually, he has 13 quick swaps, so don't need to bother with that. So we'll take a look at the mix stats in this. Um, so even in his monster hunting gear, he has 407% infantry. 350 uh, range and 350 cab. So he's not a sitting duck in his infantry. Look at all these attack stats and defenses. Uh, high 200s for defenses. HPs are also close to 200. And then his army attack and HP. So in his uh, monster hunting gear, he'd easily cap rallies uh, with his stats that he has like 350 mix and almost 400 infantry that's enough to cap a rally 56 million troops uh, pretty easily i would say uh, plus he's good hp and defense stats in this as well because his base stats are so damn high um so let's take a look at his mix gear next uh actually we'll go building because it's there uh building gear he's got full mythic building gear on this as well uh full mythic there um he does have some 
He even does extra attack. No, wait, those are defense ones. And those, but he has extra attack ones in his uh, building gear as well, but he doesn't. Then he's got food gear. So this is a uh, food hyper gear. Does, is he a food hyper? He is a food hyper. So if he uh, wanted to, he could go to food hyper gear and be food positive and build some food if you wanted. He does have a purple champion piece, which reduces his upkeep by 32%. So with the 50% uh, boost that you can put on, um, that can actually reduce it by over 80%. It gets 50% from that 32% from this so 82% reduced um I want to see kind of where he's at right there because his upkeep's 83 million he could up you could not get down even further but it'd be really hard to get food positive at 83% just because he has so many damn troops 52 million uh, might need a gold champion plate to get food positive on this account but he does have a food set up there uh then he has merging set so this is just merging gear full mythic on that as well bunch of defense stuff in there just in case he gets caught in that for whatever reason then we'll go to mix so then we have his mix infantry range and cab i will switch to the blast stats so you get to see them but this is his mix gear um he does have some cups coming up he does have a gold cup he's got two gold cups actually so again he's trying to get these up to mythic uh we're about uh four away from that again i was doing hunting on here so um we will get that close for one away from another gold so maybe i'll do some hunts after this one and maybe get that to gold or maybe get the, the mythic sorry um and maybe have a second one in his mix here but this is his mix here um he does have some blast pieces in there he could move them around but again no one really rallies a two billion might account so having a great mix set it's only a, just a deterrent when you go offline and you're sleeping and you don't want to wake up because if you get online and uh, they rally you the amount of troops he has and this gear it's really not going to do much because we'll take a look at his gear setup right now he's got 578 uh, infantry he's got 511 uh, range and he's got 500 cab so over 500 percent mix and then you can see like his infantry defense is like 300 percent in here um and then he's got a bunch of hp over 200 percent of each hp infantry seems to be the highest in the set so just probably has more infantry pieces in his mix set 470 percent army hp that's without an altar boost by the way so he doesn't have the altar boost if with the altar boost it's around uh, 500 percent and his army tax a little low just because because he's full uh what's called uh infirmaries right now so he's got 806 uh infirmary space so if someone's gonna rally him they better do quite a bit of damage because he has huge infirmary space but with all that hp and defense in his stuff plus his base stats and all that it's really hard again you saw his base stats they're over 200 percent he's got 207 actually not 200 percent. he's got only 193 range uh, oh, but he's also not in Fury. If he went into Fury at this point, uh, those stats will go up. Let me let me go into Fury and I'll show you. <laughs> Code 23, a special. <laughs> so uh, where are we going to? Just scope this guy. Whatever. Scope that guy. Um, go back in here. That goes into Fury. That actually po uh, boosts our stats up even higher. So if we go down to the... Uh, uh, army attack it's now at 210 he's got 498 again he's got massive stats while in fury because of the research so you look at here look at all the stats he gets from research so he he gets oh he actually all his stats go up i should probably realize that <laughs> so um, all his stats go up not just his army stats he's got 25 percent extra army attack while in fury 30% extra army defense while in Fury, 28% extra army HP. Then he gets uh, infantry attack, uh, what's called infantry defense, range defense, cav, all that stuff. So um, if you're going to be taking a rally with uh, max account, you want to be in Fury. So <laughs> look at those, all those extra stats. Plus, he doesn't have the ultra boost, by the way. Um, his ultra boost is zero right now. It's really hard with these uh, just with the open kingdoms and the new kingdoms not opening for like two years or something like that it's so stupid i can't, I can't even get into it with my tiny accounts anymore which is really unfortunate so let's go take a look at the stats again um so yeah his actual stats while in fury is 510 521 and 588 um plus you have all these extra ones like infantry defense is over 300 percent um plus all those um again you're probably gonna be sitting in infantry or range so uh, the rate the cab one isn't as important unless it's your biggest squad which it isn't so infantry is the best in this so probably be if you're taking a rally party probably send an infantry with these uh crazy hp and defense stats uh plus if i had an ultra boost i could get that from uh someone giving me their leader and i could execute it that would give me the extra boost and i'd be well over 500 percent on that and quite high in the army attack and army defense as well plus look at this i have the attack buff debuff so 10 percent attack buff debuff on this so it reduces their uh attack defense and hp that is from the research i also have wonder stuff on this as well i mean this this account is pretty high in research i'm um, only 30 percent counter boost though it doesn't have the uh, familiar or the uh 
the hero. Um, you saw the hero was only green, and I don't think the, he has the... Uh, uh, what's called uh the other one the um familiar that's what i wanted to say again he hasn't been spending as much on the account um he had a baby recently so the account hasn't been that as uh, as important as it was before when he was having fun on that he's that's also why i've been doing a bunch of stuff on the account he just doesn't have as much time to play on the account anymore because the new baby so <laughs> yeah congrats on the baby dro by the way if you're watching this video um anyways we'll go over that we're going back to i guess blast stats net so we'll go infantry um he is missing a couple things because he doesn't have very many champ pieces on this account um it's just basic stuff so this is infantry set uh, we'll take a look at the act. Whoops. Yeah, here it is. He's got 496 infantry on that. 150% uh, infantry uh, HP plus, uh, where was it? 50% army HP. So almost 200% HP on the set there. Uh, we'll take a look at the stats. I've, I do have to put him into infantry blast because I'm in mix right now. Where is it? Inf cav. Does he just have an inf? Yeah, inf. We'll just go inf here. Um, see what his stats are. Uh, well, he's an infantry here, so let's see here. Um, he is at 798% infantry attack uh, with uh, 350. It doesn't matter about the other stuff, uh, which gives uh, 339 infantry defense when he sends that. 372% infantry HP. Again, these are very important stats for how little damage your rally or your solo is going to take when you hit someone, especially if their attack is low. The defense actually is really useful because if they have low attack and you have super high defense, uh, the person is not going to do much damage to your attack. You're more likely to walk back on a solo attack. Again, he's got 424 army HP while that and 334 army defense and 215 army attack. So again, those all add up. Again, these ones down here are obviously higher if you have the ultra boost which i don't or if you have a here or leader so i don't even have i have no leader or no ultra boost so i'm lo losing like 60 percent army attack because of that but obviously that can change so we'll go into range next so i'll throw them into range talents here where is it range range there it is boom a uh, range talents here we'll take a look at his stats in range again i'm still in fury right yeah I'm i got long i got i got 12 minutes of fury we should be good for the rest of the video here. <laughs> so uh, 793 of range attack. Well, uh, in this as well. Again, um, let's see. Whereas range defense, 331. Range HP, 313. So quite good in this one. Uh, 475 army HP. A little bit more army HP in this. Uh, a little less defense. I Oh, maybe that's more defense. <laughs> a little less army attack, I believe, in this one. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't have the... Uh, what is it called? Um, uh, where, where that thing is called? What is this thing called? Where is it? Dark Ages, that was it. That, that is 14% army attack, if you guys are wondering. Uh, so he has lots of HP because of the rings. He doesn't have any cups in his uh, set. Again, he could move some cups around to have higher attack and stuff because these, these rings don't have the highest attack. So he could be well over 800% if he's using the cups in this one. But again, he only has three cups. So um, you could re -jewel it and go higher. I'm not going to do that for the video. Uh, but you could make this actually higher with those cups in the set. So just keep that in mind while you're watching this. Uh, the rings are pretty good because they do give the uh what's called uh army defense and army attack or army army hp and army defense so his army or his defense and hp are higher so that's a better chance of walking back from attacking someone keep that in mind that includes rallies and stuff like that so we'll go on to the next one last one's gonna be his cab set i think his cab might be his best but i could be wrong where's cav um i guess it's just inf cav in this one okay um, we'll go inf cav throw him in inf cav for a second here Switch over to his cav attack, and there's his cav attack. It's actually decent. He's missing a couple of jewels in that one, but I believe his attack is quite high on this one. Um, yeah, 812. It's his, technically his highest attack, but again, I think his range could be his highest if he just uh, moved some jewels around into his cups and threw the cups into his uh, range set. But again, you don't want to keep doing that. So <laughs> around 800%, it's totally fine. Like he's not like the main rally lead in his guild. So if he needs a rally lead, he could do that. And he could just rejewel it if he really needs to rally someone in that certain formation. But if not, it's totally fine. So this one's 812% cav attack. Uh, let's uh, 308 cav defense. 337 cav hp and then uh, 451 in the army hp and 430 447 again the army attack would be about 60 percent higher if you had the ultra boost um and the uh, leader what's uh yeah no it's 38 percent wow I forgot how high the ultra boost was 38 percent obviously there plus you get a level 60 leader that's another 30 so another 68 percent army attack on top of that plus 
38% more HP and defense as well. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're looking at those numbers, if you had the ultra boost, which is pretty easy to get if you wanted to use that. Um, but again, he just doesn't have it currently as we're doing this video. So can't see those, but it would be much higher. But anyway, so those are the, uh, what's called attack stats. So the last thing I'll be looking at, I'm just gonna throw them into mix currently, just so I don't forget at the end, so I don't get them to zeroed. But I mean, <laughs> again, you're probably not gonna try and rally him anyways, two billion might. Um, anyways, let's take a look at his familiars. He does have some level 60, uh, what's called, the pack five familiars, they don't have a max. He does have the rabbit skill maxed. He just doesn't have the actual attack boost. Um, that's the one thing this account is actually missing. It's the uh, pack five familiars. So if you're gonna be a rally lead, that's also why he's not one of the main rally leads. He doesn't have the pack five familiars talented here. Uh, let's see, uh, title 10 doesn't have any Grim Reaper, Hell Dredder, Frostwing here. Um, nope, doesn't have that. But he does actually have them, he just doesn't have that. So when he's attacking, he's using like Griffin and Goblin and stuff like that. So this account could use some Pack 5 Familiars. He does have the attack, or it's called High Enough Attack. He's around 800%. So if you had those Pack 5 Familiars, this account would be just be so much better. But he's missing those. But he does have all of them. He does have most of their talents and stuff done. So he's got a bunch of the base stats and stuff. Um, all this stuff, max. So he is a, he's maxed most of the stuff. He doesn't ha actually just have where it's called this max yet. So again, he does have like the Griffin and let's say uh, the, the stacking familiars. All these are max. It's just, again, he's missing the pack five ones, which make his attack so much stronger if he was hitting people, but it is what it is. So um, anyways, we're gonna take a look at the other stuff. Well, code 24, thank you. What was the other thing I wanted to show you? Um, I think that's everything other than, let's say, uh, re oh, resource. <laughs> yeah, actually, I wanted to show you the resources on this account. So he's got tons of resources in his bags. Again, he had bought a stuff, bunch of stuff before. So um, 16 billion gold in this account. So I'm not going to run out of gold anytime soon. Um, any everything else is pretty much that. Again, he's got quite good gear. We'll just go into the gear and show you what he's actually hiding in here. Uh, where is his gear thing? Is that it? Yeah, there. There it is. So he does have some doubles of stuff. Um, he's got pretty much all the stuff mythic. Uh, he's just missing some uh, mythic cups. And obviously he doesn't have champ on the gear, but he does have some extras. So he's got like a gold helmet for the extras here. So he's got, obviously got enough to get that. Um, he does have, yeah, <laughs> he's got a gold one there as well. A gold firewall plate. Um, I'm not sure why he built a gold B helm. <laughs> uh, my second gold B helm. He could have kept that like purple and the or blue and made a fake set out of that. But I mean, who's gonna believe that at a uh, what's called two billion might anyways? So there's no point in that. Um, again, he's got like title titan boots and that. And I think I've showed you. Oh, this thing actually. This thing can actually get up to mythic if he wanted to. He could get a mythic skull crusher. Um, it's pretty good for mix sets and stuff like that. But. I guess he doesn't want to waste the embers when he's trying to get his cups up the mythic. So that makes sense. Um, and then he's got all that mythic. Yeah. So yeah, it's cups. He's got some rings. He's got two things he's got to get up there. He's got two, two extra gold scrolls in there. Um, and then, yeah, that's basically it. So, um, oh yeah, jewels. I think he had some extra jewels in here too. Um, he is getting some of these up. So this is why we're going to Emperor and stuff to get these uh, royal jewels. Um, I guess he wants to get in his cap set because his cap set is currently his best one. Um, does have a gold extra gold gargantuan. He's got extra champion gold in there. Uh, he's got six extra <laughs> gold terror jewels in here. Uh, let's see what else he got in there. He's got a bunch of extra golds in here too. Again, he's got extra golds in his merging gear, or not his merging gear, his uh, monster hunting gear just because he's got extra jewels for that. So uh, that's pretty much the account overview. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, his wall is pretty set up as well. He's got five familiars, so he's got all the stuff in here. Well, I'm not sure why he's magma right on there. I'm going to switch that. That's, that shouldn't be on your wall. Where, 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 where's that magma right there? Um, it's probably because it was his leader and I didn't switch it out. So let's actually throw a, uh, I guess it's an infantry one, but it doesn't actually give any stats. See, um, if I'm going to throw another infantry one on there, I might as well be this guy or something like that. Uh, what does he give? That's army defense. So not much there either. So where's a good, uh, uh let's see. We got bunch of infantry, bunch of infantry. 
there you go. Well, we'll just throw that infantry one in there. There you go. So, um, yeah, the Magmarai wasn't doing anything as well, so might as well stretch that out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys got all the codes. You found them all. Um, and then there'll be one more video tomorrow. Do not miss that one. That's the last video with the codes. I'll try to post that a little bit earlier so you have a little bit more time between that one and the uh, stream. It may be around 10 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow when I post that one. Maybe a bit later, depending on what time I wake up, because, again, it's my time. I'm not going to wake up super early to do the video. I'm not waking up at 6 a.m. to finish the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.